Hey guys, Jason here at Cooperative Motor Works and Motorhome Rehab Ranch. Today we're continuing the series on uh, dash ACs. Uh, Jim kind of talked about the old style and what we, um, you know, what the coaches had originally, the three different types. Um, now we're talking about more what we're using uh, on our resto mods, what we're putting in the new coaches. Um, as you've probably seen in his videos, there's not much reason to keep your old AC if there's anything wrong with it. So, you know, upgrading to something like this unit makes a whole lot of sense. Um, he gave a lot of information on that, but I'll talk a little bit more in depth about it. So what this unit is right here is an old air product. It's a hurricane system. Uh, it's a super high performance air conditioner, probably puts out a lot more than what our original Dash AC did. Um, you know, very industrial, very nice unit. Um, it is, this isn't the exact model that would go in your coach. Uh, typically, um, this is one I'm using in my own. Um, I'm going to mount it on the other side of the firewall, but typically we mount this right about here on the outside. And we use a box that we make that looks something like this and we have a cover plate that goes on top of it so when this is installed it's not going to fit quite up in there because i got some wires in the way still but it's going to look about like that and then the unit actually gets attached to the outside cover plate it has this piece i have it unbolted right now uh, the air is going to come out of this unit. I don't know if we can see it, but I come out of there into this little plenum. And from there, no more of those pneumatic valves changing where the air is going. These are all uh, actuators. Um, they're going to be electronically uh, activated, controlled, and it's going to divert the air the places you want it to go. So this is still an air conditioner and a heater, um, defroster, all of the things that the original was. The unit that you would most likely get has two of these guys coming out of the top of it for the defrost, which will go right through the hole that was already there in your dash uh, for the defrost. And then you've got the four for your dash AC. So these can be ducted and they come with the hoses and they come with different vents and they can be tied into different ones, but those will get routed to uh, blow air where you want it. I highly recommend having one go all the way over to the driver's side on you know, the outer side of the coach because when you're driving, it seems like the sun just comes down there and it really heats you up, starts cooking you. So that's something that I've noticed on the ones we've done. Uh, there's been a few of them when we did Mac dashes on them. We actually put a vent in the Mac dash up in place of where one of the gauges would have gone. And that works phenomenally. So you have it up there, nice cool air blowing on you when you're driving down the road. And these things properly set up, they'll just ice you out. I mean, I had to actually turn them down a little bit because I was cooling myself down too much, like freezing my leg and stuff. So very good unit um you know it comes with you can get them in different kits with uh, all the different parts we are a dealer for them i believe we can drop ship them to you so if you're interested in buying them it's probably going to be the exact same price that you see on their website but we'll get you the one that we use and get you all the information on how to build the box and stuff like that um, and you know because we're a dealer we'll get a little bit of a kickback so that helps us out in you know, helping you guys. So um, we'll probably show a few pictures of some of the ones completed. So you can see how all the hoses come. Um, one of the things I kind of mentioned on this unit was <clears throat> my hoses come off to the side. Our normal unit, they come out the front and kind of a square pattern or circular pattern. And so those will come out basically behind here. You can route them down behind this nose part 
and then route them over to all the parts that you need. So your condenser, your AC compressor, your dryer, you know, everything that you need. Uh, they do sell the kits with the hoses and with um, the uh, condensers if you need. We've found a bigger condenser that we like to use. So that's something that uh, we might be able to get you a part number for or something like that. Um, the and then the AC compressor that we use for this is typically our serpentine belt system. So it's a Sandin style compressor and it works really well. Uh, it's a peanut, you know, compressor. So uh, that's what this coach is going to get. It'll be a lot more cleaned up when it's done. But, uh, you know, this is in the teardown phase right now. So when it's all finished, it'll be all pretty and have the nice new dash AC and all the wiring cleaned up and everything like that and the new radiator. Um, and that's actually what my next video is gonna be on is the new radiator and the new uh, fan shroud that goes with that. So, you know, stay tuned for that one. All right. Hey guys, uh, just a little follow up to the beginning of this video. I realized after shooting it last night that you guys probably would want to know the dimensions and how we build the box. So I'm going to talk about that real quick. Also, I'm standing in front of one that we've already completed here. So you can see the final fit and finish of this. You can see the two AC lines coming out. Uh, going to you know the respective places so you've got to the AC compressor and then you've got this one going to the dryer uh, which goes to the condenser which goes back to the AC compressor um, and then you've got your heater hoses here coming out so and then <clears throat> it comes with this rubber grommet here that fits around all of that and then there is a heater shut off valve here that's electronically actuated so that when you're not running your heater it's not sending fluid through the heater all right so we're going to post a picture of the um, actual like lengths of these two sheets and the sizes um, this is the cover plate that's on the outside um, that one you're basically just going to make to fit over the top of it. We usually do about an inch on the folds. This one I'll talk a little bit more about. So this part makes up the main box. So what we end up doing is we cut this square out here at the corner. We cut right here to this point and right here to this point and this square out at this corner. We bend about an inch here on each end. That's the lip that gets screwed up to the top. And then we bend it here and here to make it into a U shape. So that'll all get bent up. The, that edge gets bent down at about a 45 or so. And that goes along that uh, firewall where it bends down. So this would go in like this with the pieces bent up and then we silicone along those edges and screw them into the firewall and then once you have that completed you bend this to match the size that you have there um, we probably won't give you as much of the measurements on that because a lot of that has to do with how your box comes out so you're going to want to make the box first get all the measurements on that and then make your cover plate so the AC unit bolts to the cover plate. So uh, I think you can kind of see there's a screw here and there's a screw here. There's more on this side. There's a bracket that they come with that bolts to the unit. And so these are just quarter 20 screws that go through and we have nuts on the inside. So if you have any more questions about that, uh, ask away on our Patreon or YouTube and we'll try to answer those. And if you're looking for more videos related to this, we will try to do whatever you guys are asking for. Also, we're gonna try at some point to do 
a little more in-depth uh, video with Jim explaining how to fix the old unit if you still have that one. He's the best for doing that because honestly, us and the crew here now, we don't really touch the old systems anymore. We're only doing the new ones. But Jim has done so many uh, repairs on like the old fans and relays and stuff like that, that he can kind of guide you through all of that. Until that video comes out, feel free to call him if you're a ranch hand and he will give you updates. It's starting to rain, so I think we're going to wrap this up. And uh, you guys take care.